Yay! We're live. 527, May 27. Hi, Delva. I bet it's gorgeous where you are. Okay, I am going to click just a couple of seconds so that I can see that everything's running right. I'm so happy to be here. feel like it's been forever and it was only one week off, right, Rom? Mm -hmm. Seems like a long time. It does. All right. Yay. I see people coming in. Hi, Elalu. Hi, Terry. So good to see everybody. If you pop in at any time, just say hi. Let me let me know where you're coming in from. Happy Friday is right. Yay. Hi, Loretta. Uh, I think you told me that my picture on Instagram stories, that flower, Loretta told me it was a fern peony. Thank you. A lot of people ended up telling me it was a fern peony, but what's so funny is I have no memory of planting that in the spot that it's in because I usually keep all my peonies around the house and that one is just in a weird spot. So anyways, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Learn something every day. Hi, Betty Mom. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Corinne. Connie. Sorry, Connie. Ruth. Yay, Ruth is here. Every time Ramel packs an order for you, Ruth, he's like, it's Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hi, Erica, Suzanne, Claudia. Oh, Leanne, Tony, and Debbie. Debbie and Debbie. Yeah. Right in an order. And Amy's here. Hi, Amy. This week, Amy and I had an episode on the podcast. If you're not listening yet, it's called Seems Funny Podcast. We have an Instagram account. We also have an email. Maybe, Amy, you should type what it is in here as a comment because I'm going to mess it up. But anyways, our episode this week had quite a few reactions and positive ones. So I think it just people needed that in such a crazy week. I think people needed to hear our silliness. So if you haven't listened, go give us a listen. It's on Apple or Spotify or wherever else. Those are the only two I know of. Um I'm I'm pretty new to podcasting, I would say. I used to only listen to one for like three years. And now I love many, 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 many. So it's fun to put it on and then do your sewing because you can just listen. You don't have to look at a screen or anything. Anywho, oh, hi, Stacy. Hi, Rena. Henny's here. Bethany's here. Serene. Hey, Serene. Wow, this is so cool. All right, let's get into it. I am going to show you guys today. I'm going to do a little demo. I'm going to swing the cam. It's already in place. I don't have to swing anything. I'm going to move the camera view so you can see me sewing the glitter webbing that's in my shop to this bag. Now, my friend Kim, Go Go Kim on Instagram and Facebook, made this quilt block. And then I put the clear vinyl overlay and made the bag. So I turned her quilt block into a bag, and I've done two of these so far, uh, and I love these. I use these as my grocery totes. So just going to let you know, on my YouTube channel, which is also So Hungry Hippie, I have a tutorial on how to do a vinyl overlay on your bag. So it's not that difficult if you have the right tools. Get yourself a Teflon foot. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. It's easier. But anyways, that's a vinyl tutorial. We are here for the webbing. And I have got new colors just in. You guys, I spent so much time deciding on the perfect colors. And by perfect, I mean vibrant and happy and joyful and fun and matching a lot of fabric that I buy. Because as you probably know, I tend to buy a lot of bright fabrics. Anna Maria fabric and Tula Pink fabric and sometimes Kaif and always Jennifer Paganelli fabric. All of that is just really vibrant and makes me feel happy and joyful. So I've got this color in, which is called Aquamarine Turquoise. And if Ramel is so inclined, oh, you're already putting the links up. I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, are you trying to get a raise? <laughs> <laughs> this one, because Dalva and also another lady emailed me, uh, we're going to call it sea foam because I was so stumped when I got this in. I'm like, they're both in the aqua family, but I can't call them both aqua. So this is aqua turquoise and this is now sea foam. I love it. It's my fave. I, I super, super love these. I wish my eyes were these colors. 
And then I, I had gold a while ago, but I just bought hordes of it. So we've got gold back in stock. Now, do you want to see the ones I've carried for a while? I've got black, which has like a silver glitter. This is a five yard bundle. I've got silver, which is beautiful. Five yard bundle here. I also have 10 yard bundles. Let me show you the difference. This is a five yard bundle. This is a 10 yard bundle. It goes quick. Honestly, if you're a bag maker or you make totes, I would just get the 10 yard bundle because it, it goes really fast. On my essential tote, which is this pattern, my essentials tote, I use glitter webbing and it goes all the way down on both sides. And I believe this is a two yard piece, if I'm remembering that correctly. I believe, I believe so. I believe I can fly. This, I, this one is gold. The, the one I posted was gold. Is, is gold? Yeah. Okay. So this one is hot pink and this one is purple. And you can see the difference here really well. Sometimes in the store on a monitor, colors can be hard to uh, really pick up 100%. So I do my best. And I try to take videos and do reels on Instagram often showing these things, you know, like doing this and stuff. I, do you have a favorite color webbing? Because they're already telling me, Natalie, what, what other colors do you want? <laughs> oh my God. We need, oh, oh, that, that segues in to our announcement, right? Are we going to let them know? Sure. <laughs> get us out the bag. Before I get into this demonstration, you guys, I want to share with you, because of your support, Ramel and I are moving into a warehouse slash boutique. So there's going to be a small storefront that I'll have open certain days of the week on certain hours. I'll post all this. It'll all be really clear. Um, but it's here in McFarland in Wisconsin where we are at. And it's really exciting because I'll finally get my house back, right? I know you're happy. I, I want some of my, my man basement back. No more boxes stacking through the living room and we're like doing a maze. Yeah, so we're going to have more info, info for you soon. Of course, we'll have some kind of grand opening celebration. I bet it'll be midsummer, right? Uh, it could be quicker. It that. could be quicker. I mean, we move fast. Yes, we, we don't mess around. So I'll say midsummer. I It might be sooner. And oh, and that leads me into we're calling it a boutique because I've always wanted a, a real store. Even my sister can tell you guys, this cat here, my sister can tell you, I used to make her play store with me <laughs> when we were like seven years old, five, six, seven, we had, she had a little fake cash register and I would bring out all my cool erasers and stuff and we would, you know, have store. So the fact that I'm getting a store makes me really, really excited, like giddy, my heart flutters. And I was really scared to do this, but I got all kinds of super cool stuff uh, at, I, I don't know what to call it other than like a wholesale market that I went to. And what I mean by that is really unique finds. This is a purse and it's hand beaded. There's a, a chain strap. You can make it a chain strap or you can make it a clutch. And um, I'll have items like this in the store. This is all beading. It's just beautiful stuff. This is a big bag in the same motif. I took a bag and a clutch on vacation with me recently to South Carolina to test it out and everything, and they're durable. This is not everything. It's just a peak. I'll have funny little stuff like this. This is a coin purse. <laughs> you can put your, your trinkets in there and then clip it to your tote bag or whatever, your purse. This summer, I love a soft serve. Who loves soft serve more than hard serve? Is that what hard serve is called? Anywho, it's going to be super fun. So I'm real excited. Okay. I will stop gabbing and I will show you the demo here. What, what is, let me see some of this. Oh, Leanne. Thanks, Leanne. I hope you come visit us when we're open. Uh, yes. 
Dodie is so excited. Yes, I was. We yeah. were we were lucky to find a spot in McFarland, weren't oh, we? Oh, I was lucky. It, I mean, I thought we'd have to go much further, and but it, it seemed like it was meant to be too. It did. It yeah. seemed very just everything happened kind of at once, and then it took a really long time to get it finalized. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. Really Tamara long time. Wants to drive over here. What's that? Tamara. Oh, Tamara, come on down. Come on over. We'll, we'll have soft serve. We'll have soft serve. We should get a soft serve machine. I am not even joking. Okay, I'm, I'm adding Free that Free cones. <laughs> I'm adding that to the list. Oh, Ella Lou, I wish you did too. Um, Echo says I was all set and my husband asked me to hook up the camper. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good woman, Echo. Gosh, you're such a lovely partner. Um, Deborah says, I love soft serve. I do too. Elizabeth, can you even imagine road trip to Wisconsin? That would be so awesome. I wonder how long that would take all the way from, you know, the West Coast oh my God. to here. I'm going to guess 21 hours drive. I'm gonna, it's probably no. much more than that. <laughs> We were thinking about driving to South Carolina for the vacation, but it would have been a lot longer. Yeah, we're it would have been a lot longer. With us. We should just charter a jet. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Cindy. All right. Oh, yeah, Nancy, short drive from Eau Claire. You know, I think about going to Eau Claire all the time. I just love that town. And I also love Stitch Supply. Such a great little shop. Um, Erica, can't wait. I live in Madison. Oh my gosh. Yay. We're six miles from Madison. So that's so, that's fun. Okay. Shall I get into the demonstration? Yes. So this side, this side I already sewed in, but this side I have not. So I just, I cut both straps at the same time. And the reason I do that is because I have often cut a strap thinking I measured it accurately. I go to cut my second strap and I'm, you know, a quarter of an inch off. And then I notice it when I'm carrying the bag. So I just cut both straps at the same time and I take my roll of webbing and I do this and I make my cut. And then I just check again and make sure both are the exact same. So this one I stuck in already. And this one I'm going to I'm going to, um, I've got a little hole here that I seam ripped just a few inches and I'm just going to stick it in there. I stick it down a little bit so that there's some heft. I never just barely stick it in because it'll just come out. And I put my clip to hold it while I get started. I think we'll swing the camera for Mel or the, uh, uh, actually I can do it. Never mind. Yeah, all you need to do is switch it. Here we go. I am going to let you know I do have Guterman all-purpose thread on my machine. I'm using a Juki TL2000, which is just a home sewing machine. It's not industrial. I have Deco Bob thread in my bobbin, and I'm not changing it because I didn't feel like it. But normally, I would have Guterman thread in my bobbin. And I did not change sewing foot. It's just my regular sewing foot. And this Juki is only straight stitch. So that's what I'm doing. I am at a 2.8 stitch length. If you have any questions, just ask. I'm gonna transition now to the other view. Here we are. Okay. So I already sewed that one on. So now I'm coming over here. The vinyl side is up. Now for, for this machine, it's not requiring me to use a Teflon foot. If I was using my Bernina 1008, I would just have my Teflon foot on. This vinyl is the 10 gauge clear that I sell in my shop at SoHungryHippie.com and it's not super sticky. But if this was a hot and humid day, I might it might be stickier for me and I'd have to use my Teflon foot. You can get a Teflon for your Jukies also. I just haven't yet. Who knows why? So I switch out to that mechanical machine that I have. See, it's just going. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing at all. I'm going to reverse. You don't need to do this. And there it is. 
It's completely attached. It's just straight across. If I wanted to, I could get fancy and do a box with an X. You can do whatever you want. I'm a fan of keeping it simple and that's what I do and I'm good. I wouldn't go over this a ton of times here if you have the vinyl overlay because if you go too many rows of stitching on your vinyl, the vinyl can perforate and tear out. So you don't wanna do that. Less is more with vinyl. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This is a New York beauty block, by the way, for quilters. Kim is a genius piecer. I love it. Okay, so let me switch again here and I will do I will do the other side. Oh, my thread cutter didn't cut. Let me get my scissors. I'm going to show you guys my pants that I have on today too cuz I sewed them. And it it's the free range slack that Amy and I talk a lot about in the podcast. They look comfortable. Can I get there. I'll make you a pair. Do you notice how I make mine a, like a size or two too big to be loose? Because, I mean, that's what I like. I like loose pants. You like loose pants? Almost like they're not even there. It does feel like they're not there. Yeah. Nearly. Makes you wonder when you check yourself when you go outside. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Are you monitoring comments? Because I'm on a different screen right now. Um, Help me out. I was just watching you, actually. Remember that Michael Jackson song? Watching you. No, it wasn't his song. He was just the backup vocal. What was yeah. that song called? I always feel like somebody's watching me. I'm so off key right now. It's right in my head. Yeah, I know. That's it, what it, counts. They'll come, they'll come back to us. Where's Amy? Yeah, she knows all the triv music trivia. Okay. So I've got it clipped in place. I've done a check. See how they maintain shape and they will sit up. They're not just floppy. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I'm gonna sew those two down right now. And then I'm gonna have a cute little, I don't know, snacky tote for snacky lunch or library tote. I or... see a question. Oh, ask away. Camera. Yes. Can you recommend which pants pattern is good for first pair? Yes. I can, Tamara. You want to get pants number one by 100 acts of sewing. And I have, I think I have four paper copies in my shop right now, or maybe three. I have a few in my shop. It's pants number one, I believe. You'll see it in there. That is the easiest, most non-fussy pants pattern I've ever come across. And then once you do that one, I think you'd like the free range slacks by Sew House 7. I really do. I put it in there. Uh, oh, the 100 X. Is that what it's called? 100 X of sewing, um, pants number one or whatever. Yeah, grab that link if you can. I'm going to switch this over. Oh, yeah. There is. I just typed 100. Okay. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. I'll just post it right here. And there's another question. Okay. Ask away. Uh, but give me one second. I just posted there that this is the uh, 100 acts of sewing. Yeah. And another question from Camille. Yes. Um, what is the tote bag pattern? And oh, this one, Camille, this is my free tote pattern. I think the cover is a zebra, a zebra print. It says, I believe it says Janome sewing tote. Oh my goodness. Can you, it's in tutorials, Ramel. Oh, Will you grab yeah, the link? We'll grab the link for you. Tutorials. And... If you're on my email list, I, I always have a button. Well, I shouldn't say always, never. Never say never, never say always. I usually have a button that goes to all the free patterns. So you can just download them at will and practice. Here, I'll put the link. It's on the, there's a free patterns link, right? Um, Just go to, did you go to blogs and then yeah. do the free easy tote or, or so? Why can't I remember what I call my own stuff? 
I don't know. Look at that orange print inside, you guys. I love it. So I know somebody's going to ask. Because of the vinyl, I didn't interface my exterior. Actually, what I did is SF-101. That's all I did. But it, it feels like I used foam, but I didn't. I just used SF-101. And I really like this size. It's real easy. It's cute, right? If you saw me at the grocery store, you'd be like, where'd you get your bag? And I'd be like, you just sew one yourself. Can I fit you in here, Tori? You want to get in my bag? Oh, so here's my pants. I make them real big and loosey. That's just what I do. I like it like that. And they have pockets. So this one, this pattern is the So House 7 free range. So House 7. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull it up in there. And this was a Gap t-shirt, and it was white, and I had a bunch of stains on it. So I just dyed it, I don't know, two summers ago now? Mm. Up, use, reuse. Yes, I see a question about rivets. I use rivets all the time on all of my vinyls. And, and you could have riveted this too, or sew it and then also use a rivet or two. Absolutely 100%. I always tell people though, if you're gonna get into rivets, invest in a, in a press, like a, a table press. Mine is Cam. I don't know if there's all kinds of brands, but a press will just save you a lot of frustration. The hand tools work for some people, they don't work for me. I'm always messing them up. So I just got a press. Never, never regretted it. King, okay. Yep. So there is that. Deidre, I've thought about that. That might be a summer video. Good idea. Um, this handle. So Deidre, in case you didn't hear, this is my glitter webbing. And I have all kinds of colors. And in the beginning of this session, if you want to go back, you can see all the different colors. I have them. I hold them up. But yeah, my glitter webbing. Kat, hello. I mentioned you earlier. So, hi. You might want to go back. Remember when I made you play store with me? <laughs> Such a good sister. Um... Okay, Anne says she bought the Snap Stool Press, a little cheaper than the Cam. Let us know how that is. Have you used it a bunch? Uh, let's see. Okay, oh, I should mention with the webbing, the glitter webbing I will always carry, but my supplier for the solid colors that I have, like cream, uh, I, I have to list black and navy still. I don't have those up yet. Uh, my gray and black stripe, my black and pink stripe. He is le closing down his business. So I don't know if I'll be sourcing those ever again. So you might want to go over and get those if you really love them. Because once they're gone, they might be gone forever. Okay, so there's that. Oh, you know what else I could do? Do you, Was that enough demonstration on the glitter webbing? Or do you want to see me sew it to like a mini quilt. I can do that too. My point with this demo is to show you that you don't need an extra, oh, this is a, a universal needle, size 80. I don't need a jeans needle. I don't need anything special. I just wanted to demonstrate that even though when you get it, it might feel stiff or stiffer than a cotton, all cotton cream colored solid webbing, it's very, very easy to sew. So normal foot, universal 80 needle. Uh, I use Guterman all-purpose thread. You can use all your best tools that you like best, right? Amy and I always say, live your life. But it's true. You, can, you have the freedom to experiment and use whatever works for you. You are not wrong. Don't let anybody tell you you're wrong. Okay, the only thing I'll say you're wrong about is if you say soft serve is nasty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys some new colors that I just got in of Moon Glow Vinyl. This is one of my favorite vinyls because it's the closest to leather if you make 
uh, oh, that white is not showing texture. So I have a short video and pictures on the website. This is White Moon Glow. Now, when somebody asked me to get this in, I thought, oh, who's going to buy white? And now I'm going to go make myself a white Santorini tote. I love it. It looks so cool. It looks classy. It is kind of classy, right? It reminds me, every time I see this, I think Malibu, California, for some reason. I don't know. I've never even been there. So why would I think that? <laughs> Debbie, is it like Malibu? <laughs> Debbie Whitmer. I know you live in California. This is the new beige. You guys know I'm not a fan of beige, but this I'm a fan of. And mom told me that I should probably call it like cafe latte or something, you know, I like lattes. fancier. What do you think? But I didn't want anyone to get lost looking for it on the website. So the lights are really bright here. So you're not seeing the texture, but on the website, sohungryhippie.com, you can see the, the subtle texture. There's no sheen on this. It's a matte. And I really love it. So let me show you the difference. Ooh, Malibu sand. I like that. Ooh, Malibu sand. That, that's class. I like that a lot. This is Tropicana tan, which we added, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. And it has a sheen. And it's a slightly different tint. You see that? So this one has a sheen, like champagne moon glow, like taupe moon glow and beige and white and the black, those are matte, no sheen. So there's that. I and, posted the links. Oh, good, thanks, Ramel. And then Cheryl, Cheryl Pons, she's an excellent bag maker. She asked me this week about the navy moon glow and it is dark, it is a dark navy. Let me show you next to the blue. See, this is blue moon glow and this is navy. So it's definitely a dark navy. So I'll, I'll update the photos and I'll try to put a little 10 second video of this because it's just some, I don't know why it is, but sometimes it's hard to capture the true color in photos. And everyone's monitors are different too, calibrated differently. So, um, you know, if you have a question, just let me know because I'm, I'm happy to let you know I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Talking is, about the colors. Yeah, I mean, colors vary. And I think maybe our eyes are all different too a little bit. But, oh, I know what I was going to say. When I'm in the basement, which we won't be in soon anymore, mm -hmm. we'll be in the warehouse. Yes. Uh, it's kind of dimmer down there. And I often will confuse the navy with the black. And I have to bring it upstairs and, you know see what I did. So it is truly a dungeon down there. It's a dungeon. Yes. No, actually we went through a dungeon in South Carolina when we were there and that was cool. Oh, that was really cool. I like, I don't know why I'm drawn to dungeons. Maybe I went through one in my past life or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, Malibu midnight. Ooh, that's nice for the Navy blue. Maybe I should give, maybe I should upgrade names on all of these. Uh, malted and soft serve. You're making, <laughs> you know, it's funny, Stacey. I, I don't like m the malt flavor, but if I was served it, I would totally eat it. I like malt. You like malt? Yeah. My dad likes malt and I, it's just a little bit different flavor, but yeah, soft serve any day. Okay. Let's see here. Serene, the Navy is so incredible. Thank you, Serene. I've made several different size bags with it. Oh, thank you. I think it's this moon glow is just the closest thing to a real leather. You know, for me, it's easier to sew. I should have Piera come on. Piera sews a lot of leather bags and I should send her some and do a, a test. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, same. <laughs> I'd rather have a shake. I love shakes. Yes. Love it, love it. Yep, I know all about those malted milk balls. Oh, okay, a couple more things. And don't let me forget, you and Dalva, don't let me forget. We're going to do a little gifty. Oh, okay. 
Um, this week, I'm working on a class. And what I'm going to do is the Essentials Tote, which already has a free video on YouTube. If you, if you have the pattern, there's a video walkthrough for that bag. But what I'm going to do differently is a contrast bottom. And we're going to have a kit. And I'm going to use canvas and vinyl and the glitter webbing and then clear vinyl pockets. So it's like a whole new thing and we're working on it. We're gonna get that out to you as fast as we can, uh, but that's coming soon. Let me go down my list. Kit. Oh yeah, these kits. I have just a few of these available. This is the Necessary Clutch Wallet Kit and I have Purple Soft Vinyl, the Rainbow Turn Lock, the Emmeline Pattern, uh, fabric, a whole yard of fabric, two yards of SF 101, and a whole package of zippers. Now, there's a drop down menu. This is brand new in the new collection. This is the Necessary Clutch Wallet kit, and there are several fabric options. There's Anna Maria Horner, and there's Tula Pink, and then there's a mystery option where I'll choose for you. And you know I have good taste. Right? 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 <laughs> like, you oh. do. Oh, you're looking at me? Of course you do. I was looking into the abyss. Into the abyss. Um, so Betty Mom is here. Going to do a Hi. surprise appearance, Betty Mom. Shall you show <laughs> Shall you show the new leopard seatbelt webbing? Vanna White. Yes. <laughs> Betty Mom, we have leopard webbing on both sides. It's like, a, yes, you could totally do that. <laughs> and this is one inch wide and it has that seat belt feel. So if you don't know what I mean, go to your car and stroke your seat belt a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Betty Mom. <laughs> That's awesome. She's helping us uh, package a ton of vinyl. We have a huge shipment in and she just knocks it out. It's crazy. Okay, a couple more new things. Um, oh, thanks, Debbie. Anytime I need a pickup, I'll just message Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have brand new number size, number size five. Number five is the size zippers in stock. Now, this one is a purple stripe gunmetal teeth and I put a gunmetal easy grip pull on here so you can see it. That looks really cool. It's really hot. Uh, so all these, these are not listed yet. This is going to be available in my email this Sunday. I'll have links for all three. I'm, I'm going to show you the other two in a second. Make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed to the email list. It's on the main page. You'll see it. It says subscribe here. It's a pretty little envelope. Uh, the, this is purple stripe gunmetal. All my zipper packs come with three yards of zipper tape and nine zipper pulls. Okay. And this is, it looks like metal, but it's nylon. So you can cut it, you can sew it, you can mow right over it with your sewing machine. It's all good. This one is rainbow stripes. Again, gunmetal teeth. And again, the easy grit pulls. I really like those pulls. They're so nice to work with and use. So we've got purple. We've got rainbow stripes. And where are my gothic skull lovers? We've got skulls. So this to me, it doesn't scream skull because it's they're not scary and they just have eyes. There's no mouth. So it's like a black background with tiny little baby skulls on it. Gunmetal teeth, gunmetal pulls. These are all new. Dava has a question. That train is real close. That is close. I wonder if he went off the tracks. He's like, I saw those zippers. <laughs> what? What's Dava saying? How does the webbing compare to your leopard soft vinyl? You know what? I would do probably the black glitter webbing with the leopard soft. Children, dogs, 
Yes. We have two extra dogs here today. So they, <laughs> they hear the train. Sorry about that. Um, that's what I would do is I think this color because there is, oh, Nuggy, you're making an appearance. <laughs> There is, uh, it's black, but it's got that silver, and you know that pink soft leopard has both of those colors. So I think that that would be a good choice. Oh my God. <laughs> I do too, Estelle, I do too. Oh my God. That is the whole reason I did the Candy Crush quilt pattern, which is a pixelated skull. And there's a pillow. My, it's, this is so funny off camera. My mom is chasing her dogs, trying to catch them. So they are quiet. <laughs> we should have had candid camera. We should. That would have been should. good. Um, yay. Yay, yay, yay. I'm glad you like them, Debbie. Delva, you like the purple zippers or the webbing? Or maybe both. I think you're a purple lover. Leopard webbing. Okay, DJ, excellent question. The whole reason I got this leopard is because I love it with my scrappy Anna Maria bags that I've made. Of course, I don't have one here at the moment, but I will try to post it this week. I think maybe that calls for another video because what I do with Anna Maria fabric a lot of time is I just put it all together, just like improv piecing, don't care, just all of it mishmashed together, a lot like my quilt coat. And then I use leopard print zippers and webbing. And it's just like made for it. It just looks so good every time, whatever collection she comes out with. I don't know what it is. It's like they were made in heaven to be a match. So that's what I do. Um, you could also use it with any solid color, like, uh, like my black or beige Moonglow vinyls or any of this black soft vinyl. Let me think. I'll, I'll have to put some, some combinations together and do some photos. I'll probably do that this week and do a blog post because then I have one place you can go and see all the combinations. Oh, Patty, Patsy, just go to SoHungryHippie.com. Actually, Ramel, will you throw that link again for the email sign up? Um, did I, oh, or, is that, that's in the tutorials? No. So go to the main page, SoHungryHippie.com. I'm there. And scroll down to where it says sign up for emails. Yes. Grab that link. We'll post it in here again, Patsy. It is always on the main page, but, you know, there's a lot to see. So tell me when you have that up. Um, Stacy, does your coffee cozy pattern work on iced coffee cups or hot coffee cups? Well, both because I I made it for the Starbucks coffee cup, the hot one, right? But I think all you would have to do is do less overlap for the cold cups. That's a good idea, Stacy. And what I was also thinking with that, because I do get a lot of iced coffee in the summer, is do we need like a full cup cozy, kind of like those bowl cozies. Do we need the whole cup to be encapsulated is what I mean. Not, not lengthwise, but I mean, do we need a bottom and all that to catch the cup sweat? I was thinking about making that. So let me know if you try the coffee cup, coffee cozy pattern for a cold cup, let me know if it works or maybe extend it an inch and I bet it would work. Um, I need to put that on the list. Ramal, do you have a pencil? Uh, I don't, but I can type. Uh, okay. Nancy's asking where's the, this cult tape in the shop. It's, it's not going to be. It's not up yet, Nancy. Um, the email Sunday will have it. I'm trying to give uh, email subscribers kind of first dibs. I have a ton of it, so don't worry. Uh, but it'll be in that email that I send out this Sunday. Nancy, I think you're on the VIP list. So you'll, you'll get it as well in there, in that email. I think you are. Um, it is listed. The leopard seat belt is listed in the shop, Deidre. And I have a couple of pictures in there. 
already. So that is up. Let's see what else. Okay, here's the link. You can just click on that link and I think it'll take you right over, right? It's clickable? Yeah, it's I clickable. Mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. It's got a lot of, yeah. Oh, you're, the coffee cozy pattern? So what wow. we're talking about, in case you guys didn't know, wow. is can you grab her? She needs I can. Yeah. yeah. Um, the coffee cozy tutorial is free. It's on the tutorials tab on my website, sohungryhippie.com. And Bethany is saying that it works on pints of ice cream, too. How cute. Oh, my gosh. I think we need. Bethany, did you make? I seem to recall somebody making a ice cream pint cozy, like for those small pints of Ben and Jerry or whatever. Was that you? Or maybe I'm dreaming it. I don't remember anymore. Um. You could skip the bottom. Okay. Okay. This is good intel. Mm. All right. Nancy wants a iced coffee holder that covers the entire cup. Okay. Mm. That sounds like fun because we go through some iced drinks here in the Didn't summer. Did you have a co cozy, coffee cozy? Yeah, we were just talking about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about that one. <laughs> Pay attention. I missed it. <laughs> um, oh, yes. So seat belt, it's what everyone is using for the texture. Yeah. Yeah. It feels more slick and it has that same kind of weaving pattern to it. Although I don't really notice the weave because of the leopard print. So yeah, it's the texture. You know how your seatbelt is kind of slick. So what I find with it is that it's really comfortable on bare skin. So in summer, when I'm wearing tank tops, uh, a lot of times for bags, I want a really comfortable shoulder strap. And so the seatbelt webbing, it works. If you want a fast strap, I think it's great. Um, I shortened the French press cozy for the same thing. Genius. Bethany gets hired. She's paid. Done. <laughs> so I also have a French press cozy on the website, you guys. It's free. Uh, and it, so if you do coffee with a French press, it goes all the way around to try and insulate it and keep it warm. So what she's saying is she just shortened it for to do the same thing. That's so good. Oh, did you, Ruth? Ruth adjusted a bowl cozy to fit a pint of ice cream. Genius, Ruth. So genius. Making it happen. All right. Yay, Melanie. I'm so glad you're back. Yay. Oh, good. I'm glad you could use it. I noticed a lot of people here don't drink as much French press coffee, but I love it. It just has such a good flavor. I'm not into percolators. I like a French press or I like a, um, I like the Bia, the instant Columbia flavored coffee. I'm addicted to those. And I like it in the, what's that machine called, Amy? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me go down my list one more time. We do have a gift to give and let's see, new zippers. Yep, we did that. We talked about essentials, we talked about the shop, the kits. We're all good. So now it's just time to do a gifty goo. Gifty Lou? Do gift delicious? Gift a roni? Uh, <laughs> gift drama. Gift drama. Okay. Do um, I do the roll of the finger and see where it ends? Sure. How many? One or two? Three. Three. We've okay. been gone for a week, so we need okay. to bring it. Bring it back full force. Right, so I'm going to use my magic finger. I'm going to scroll. Can you guys hear him? I can't make the sound effects, but think of it like Wheel of you're, Fortune. You're, the price is right. You're yes. doing the big wheel. Yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> this one will be for two zipper packs, two zipper packs. And if you don't like the new ones, you can just message me which one you, you prefer. We have lots of different kinds of zippers in the shop. 
I got Serene. You got Serene? I know. It's weird. That is lucky. Serene's a great. We I've talked about her a couple of times now in a good way. <laughs> Once on the podcast, I think a couple times on here. She buys webbing all the time. She posted on her uh, Instagram stories the other day all these gajillion bags with all my webbing as the handles, you know? Yeah. Do you... Do you sell in a market, Serene, or just online, or what do you do? I would love to know. Michelle, Ramel is uh, just randomly, he's closing his eyes and doing this, and he picks somebody that has commented. So you're already entered. Yes. Yep, and we don't, this can be worldwide. We're not discriminating no there's no discrimination this nope. one goes for both the youtubers and the face tubers no face tube. <laughs> <laughs> you just called it face tube face tube yeah you word. You okay word. so the next one ramel next one we're okay. going to choose a winner for two packs of glitter webbing five yard bundles any color you want we've got purple we've got pink silver black Aqua, turquoise, gold, and sea foam. Wow. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, Serene has made over 200 banner bags. You get banners from a local... Okay, so like the big billboard signs, and you're just making bags from them? That is amazing. Oh, I love this. Ella Lou says, better than face boobers. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, oh what's going gosh. on in McFarlane? Activity. I got Tamara. <gasps> you did? Yes. Which, say the last name, because sometimes there's two. I, I just popped it in. See? You did? Where? It's on the... Oh, Tamara! Tamara Carlin! Yes, yes. Tamara's a localer, kind of. She, I mean, yeah. Chicago. I love it. Yay, Tamara, let me know. If you guys can, I have both of your addresses so far, so I don't need you to email me anything, I guess. Unless you want to email me your choices. Maybe that's a good idea. Because sometimes when I come back to this live and try to go through the comments, Facebook doesn't let me. It's, it's I don't know. I know it's user error, but I don't know how to... Fix it. I'll help you, hon. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Okay. okay. All right. So one more. One more, and we're gonna we're gonna do. I'm gonna shuffle this one big time. Yeah, shuffle it hardcore. We're gonna do a roll of Moon Glow vinyl because we have new colors, and if you haven't sewn vinyl, this is a lovely one. Although I will say, if you've never sewn vinyl get the soft vinyl first. That's its own little collection and it's just like fabric. I've talked about it a ton, but that's probably the best entry point. And then Moon Glow vinyl, I would say. I mean, if I had to pick, but you know what? You can do whatever you want. When I started sewing, I made a full Victorian dress the first time. And everyone told me, don't start with that. That's not good. <laughs> I did what I want, because that's what I do. I do what I want, <laughs> right? Live your life. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Okay. No, I, didn't, I didn't mean it in that. I mean it in a good way. Okay. Okay. Here okay. we go. For the vinyl, for the Moonglow vinyl. You guys should see him. I should wear my GoPro next time and be like, "And you're on camera, Ramel." Cindy. Cin what's the last name? Cindy. Cindy. My homegirl, Cindy. Cindy. Oh my gosh, Cindy. What moon glow do you want to use? And you know what? I was just going to email you anyways to see if there is anything more we can stock for embroidery people. Cindy has nosy pepper embroidery and she does a ton of stuff in the hoop. If you don't know what I mean, go to her website. There's a lot of fun things you can do if you have an embroidery machine that uses those hoops and it like you just pick a design and it stitches it all out. It looks amazing. You can embroider all my vinyl, all of it. 
it all works. I put a lot of it over to Cindy to test out. So it all works. All right. Okay. Serene is going to post in the makers Facebook group. That's my, it's the so hungry hippie makers group. If you're not in there, please join us. We want you in there. People post their makes all the time. It's super fun. If you need help, there's always multiple uh, opinions and solutions to things. That's why I love it. I don't know everything and I don't pretend to. Um, oh, shoot, Cindy Pierce. Well, you know what? Come back next week, Cindy Pierce, because we do it every week. So you'll have a chance. Don't worry. <laughs> Delva says you were not good. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I was trying to, to be more... <laughs> Delva wins every week. I know, I, I know. It's like, what's going on here? Um, yes, I know. I know, right, uh, Tamara? She does have great designs. And I just, honestly, I was really afraid to use. I have a embroidery sewing machine from Janome, and it's big, and it scared me. So I just started Googling, uh, you, like, videos, and I found some on YouTube to get started. Just, you know, random. Just how to hoop, how to float it, how to th thread my machine. Like seriously, that's where I started. All right. Yes, you can embroidery on my moon glow. Yeah, it works. Okay, have we gotten through everything? Is there anyone I haven't um, answered a question or anything? It's never intentional. If I don't answer, I didn't see it. So just email me. And if by chance I don't answer you on email within that day, it's because I didn't see it. So I, I have been noticing I've had to go through my junk box a lot lately. I don't know what's going on at Microsoft. Um, and by the way, some of my emails have been landing in other people's junk boxes. So if you saw I sent out an email and you didn't see it, check there first. I bet you it's there because they're doing some changes with all that stuff. And a lot of us like little shops are getting put in junk automatically. It ain't right. HTV designs on your vinyl. Um, Cindy, do you know what? I'm not sure what HTV is that hot heat press vinyl. I heat will get transfer vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl. That's what it is. Thanks, Ramel. I don't know. I just wow, you pulled that one out. Uh, it was a wild guess. Um, you know what? I'm not sure about that because don't you have to use a heat press? And I'm afraid that it would melt the vinyl that you're pressing it onto. So I'm I'm gonna say probably not for heat press. All right, I hope to see you next week, Cindy. We're gonna wrap this up. Um, do you hoop the vinyl or float it? I float it. I so I well, I do hoop it. I hoop it, but I float the vinyl, right? Oh my gosh. I have a video on Instagram. I'll find it. I, I videoed what I did, and now I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> but I've done it many times. Oh. I used the hoop that the machine holds, and then I floated the vinyl over it. Does that seem right? Yeah, that's what I did. I'm going to have to do it again, obviously. I need to do a YouTube for myself. Yeah. Um, 315 degrees. Okay, Joan. So I would say probably not, but I'll have somebody test that on a scrap. I'll find somebody to test that just in case. I don't have a heat press. Uh, let's see. Very fun live today. Yay, Loretta. So great to see everyone. Um, I know we went long, but I wasn't here last weekend. So I just wanted to fit in everything in. Next week will be shorter. <laughs> and then I think we're going to keep these going all through summer. So don't feel bad if you miss them. The replays are always available, but I do love to see you, of course. And I think we'll keep doing our gift deliciousness live. So then it's just done and everyone can hear. All right. All right. I will see you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.